Hi, <laughs> it's Sarah O'Brien, back where I love to be, out in nature. It's a really beautiful day. It's a little too chilly for my taste, but um, I'm gonna take it because it's sunny and not raining and, you know, warm enough that I can take a nice walk. So I'm gonna give a love reading for the Twin Flames. Here we go. Hope you're all staying safe and you know, choosing yourself in every situation possible. Blades of grass here, okay. We have, uh, the shared energy is moving away. I should probably come a little closer. I don't know why I get so far away from the camera in these, in these videos. Um, so you can see the cards better. So moving away in the shared space from uh, some situation. And again, it's very wind, it's, it's like kind of breezy today. It's not, not like yesterday was very windy, but the Empress is coming through. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is for the, uh, the Divine Feminine. Okay, we'll put her first. The sun, sun energy. She's feeling all the joy. She feels like she has to sneeze right now. She's releasing things, right? She's moving away, but it's making her feel very happy to do that. Because she's choosing herself. That's Leo energy right there. Um, she's, yeah, still balancing a little too much. A couple priorities, responsibilities, or people. But I feel right now she's just kind of like balancing out her own energy too. Um, kind of choosing which to, what to prioritize in her own life. And uh, having a lot of strength. Okay. Well, she does that. The Divine Masculine is becoming illuminated. It's the Hangman in reverse. He finally realizes his power, I feel, and, uh, you know, his magic, or her, or there. It doesn't have to be he, I just use that for my story. Um, so he's working very hard right now in the physical. You see the pentacles. Um, so yes, he's, he's getting more into the spiritual side, but also very hard at work in the physical. 3D. Um, Committing to his path, I feel. This is the Hierophant, um, could be a teacher, but I feel he's really, this is the card about commitment and tradition. So I feel he's actually committing to his, uh, his goals, but he's not seeing everything clearly. We see the moon in this card, so there's, there's some secrecy. He's blind to some secrets around him. He has to make a choice, um, maybe regarding this marriage situation. Um, nothing, not everything is being seen clearly right now. Uh, he's gonna go toward his passions. This is the Knight of uh, Wands, very passionate energy here. It's fast moving energy. You see the pyramids in the background, again connected with the spiritual realms. There's some heartbreak situation, but I feel he's trying to heal from this by moving toward his passions. Let's get one more for him. Two more. Okay, so there is, yeah, a third party situation, but um, there's this future of, I also feel this is future energy, like celebration and stable family situation. This is stability in the physical. Okay, so then at the bottom of the deck is Wheel of Fortune. So it's like, wow, that's really powerful. That's your destiny. That's your uh, countless possibilities. Your life could, uh, your life story could still uh, be told in so many different ways, okay? And we have hermit mode. It's just like, yeah, keep to yourself right now. You know, if you feel guided to keep in your own energy and just balance out that energy with, you know, don't be scared. Don't be up at night. Definitely get your beauty sleep. <laughs> um, and just, just stay honest and faithful. Everything's going to work out. This devil will be uh, released once you move toward your passions and your true heart. Yes, chariot, move, go, action. It's getting to be spring, true spring weather. Stay true, stay you, and everything will be okay. <laughs> Love you, bye. <laughs>